Right. The next set of energies that I'm reading are the afternoon energies. The grouse, the armadillo, the elk, and the turtle. Hmm. Stranger, stranger, stranger on the horizon we are. At this very moment, the great grouse is dancing his spiral dance, luring us into the spiral dream, asking us with his flapping wings to dance the sacred dream. Friend Armadillo comes dancing the sacred dream, reminding us of the boundaries we empower to have our sacred space so we may evolve our sacred self. Friend Elk comes dancing here, and Friend Elk is asking us, do you have the respect for the stamina it takes to be an adult? It's asking, do you have the respect of the innocence of the inner child to remain an inner child? Do you have the stamina to endure, to endure the dance, to endure the interaction into the infinite? We come to a pause in the dance. The armadillo, the grouse, and the elk. Turtle comes into vision. Turtle is the ad of the amphibious world who can live in the infinite and the finite. It lays its eggs in the sand and out of the turtles are born. And their energies come out. And that is what is here. Coming out of energies. Defining our boundaries, understanding our stamina, and knowing when it is time for us to dance. So I'm going to read the energies of dream time, the total potential of dreaming energy that's coming to and from our planetary concept right now. So I'm now moving away from reading the stream server. I'm reading our planetary consciousness in its state of being as it is right now. Uh, when I do planetary dream time consciousness reads, a lot of things come up and um, at times it's a representation of the world type energy that's coming out of various nations or areas. I look to the very top, the very point of the North Pole of our world. I'm looking down from it as our world is spinning. So the South Pole is un invisible to me, but I only see the angular horizons of the North Pole from exactly at the top. And I see the burdens of Earth are represented in the reliance of its people, its ability for the people to understand what is real and what is false. That is the representation of the Northern Hemisphere. This very essence, this very concept of the burden vast basket reaches into the people deep. It asks the people to know when they have seen truth, how to nurture truth, how to let the spark of fire and the council of fire into their lives so they may let go of the Heokas. That is a, a concept that is uh, hard for people to understand when you only look at the world from the north in aspect because that is the unified consciousness is what's coming out. And when I'm reading that, Comment on dreams of escape. Um, it's hard to general concept, uh, LM, to concept just on that. Uh, escapist dreams are like when you're in a fantasy realm, often have real meanings in, in to you. So to give a general description, hmm, I, I don't have dreams like that anymore, so it's very difficult for me to 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 describe it, but it's, um, generating a fantasy life for those fantasy things can be beneficial for a person healing at that time, but they ultimately become a crutch and a trap when you overuse them. And overuse them, you could never see it coming. It's just poof, one day you, you're overusing it and you're addicted to it. And the only way from getting out of that escapist dream is to escape it into another dream, which ultimately puts you into the hoop circle of understanding. So the more you realize you're caught in one dream cycle, you're caught in another until you can eliminate all dream cycles and return to the sacred dreaming point of view that is you, that is attached to no realm but a singular realm of the body. And that's really about being the shaman, practicing your talk, walking your talk, owning your strength. That's, that's what I see when you, when you ask a question about escape dreams. Um, as I was reading the, the Northern Hemisphere, I also see the thunder beams, the storyteller, the stone people, the great mystery, and Coco Pelli. The people are dancing. Uh, the people aren't dancing in the street, yes, just yet, but the people are dancing, dancing in dream time, dancing in a method in a manner that is allowing the earth to hear their foot stomps on the ground and reminding them that they're not idle no more. And I use that saying for a very specific reason. Idle no more is dancing their ways through the, the various aspects right now. 
and each person that is in and a part of Idol No More is dancing in a sacred way. And many of you can begin to dance in a sacred way, stomp your feet on the ground and send your message to Earth Mother, no more, no more lies, shake off the method of domination and control that can be the message of your dance, free the people, free your minds, all of that is within the great mystery if you should choose to dance the sacred spiral, the grouse humming with your heart in the head of the great mystery.